Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing five delicious, easy crock pot meals, perfect for this season to make your life so much easier. They are so delicious and I know they are going to make your family so happy. I also want to let you know today's video is a collab with my sweet friend Kelly from Kelly's Corner. She is the crock pot queen. You guys have got to check her out. I will have all her information in my description box. We have similar content on our channel and she is just a love. I definitely want you guys to go say hello. Let her know that Lynn sent you and if you're from Kelly's channel, welcome. We have similar content as I mentioned, so don't forget to subscribe before you go. You're going to start with breakfast. That's going to include shredded hash browns, sausage, eggs, and cheddar cheese. And I am going to be browning the sausage. Use whatever type of sausage you choose. You can also make this beforehand. I am going to put all of the frozen hash browns on this pan here. I was thinking about cooking it and then realized I didn't need to. So I started to crack about 12 eggs. In the end, I used about 16. Then I'm gonna shred about a cup of cheddar cheese. You can use already pre-shredded if you have it. I decided to do it this way. And here it is, it's so thick and yummy. I'm going to use ground mustard, that's my secret ingredient, and then do salt and pepper to taste. And I'm gonna whisk this together. I like to add just a little bit of milk to make it super fluffy and then continue to scramble. I'm going to grease the bottom with some olive oil. You can do butter as well. And I'm going to make layers starting out with the frozen hash browns. Next, I'm gonna layer it with the ground sausage. I'm gonna add half of the egg mixture and then I'm gonna add some cheese. I'm gonna continue this layer once again. As I mentioned before, I ended up adding about four more eggs, so that was a total of 16. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the cheese. Put the top back on and I'm gonna cook it on high for about six hours. You can also cook it on low for seven to eight hours overnight. It's super fluffy and was really, really good. We like to eat ours with a little bit of hot sauce. Let me know in the comments below, are you hot sauce on, the, on your eggs type of person? It's my favorite. Next, I'm gonna make a delicious soup for lunch. This is a white bean chicken chili, and the secret ingredient will be the salsa verde. It is so delicious. I'm gonna start off with three frozen breasts right out of the bag, not thawed. This is a good dump and go meal. Dump those drained and rinsed white beans or great northern beans. You can use a whole onion or a half, depending on how much you like onion. I like it a lot, so we used a whole onion. I'm gonna add that to the mixture. Then I'm gonna add some garlic powder and cumin. I will add about a half a cup of the salsa verde. This gives the most delicious tart flavor and about a cup and a half to two cups of chicken broth. Salt and pepper to taste. And I'm gonna cook this on high for six hours. Again, you can cook it on low for about seven to eight. It is all done. If you want more juice, add more stock. If not, this is perfect. It's so delicious over rice. We like to sprinkle ours with some cilantro, even a piece of cornbread is so delicious. Next, we're gonna make a delicious appetizer. This is my sticky barbecue meatballs. I'm gonna use my honey barbecue sauce from Sweet Baby Ray's and I'm gonna add two packages of meatballs. I'm gonna use the entire bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's. This is my husband's favorite. Use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you like. Then I'm gonna also add a sprinkle of garlic powder and two big scoops of the grape jelly. Peach preserves is really tasty in this as well. This is so delicious with rice or even on a hoagie. Perfect for an appetizer and good for a lunch as well. And we are gonna cook this on low for six hours. Super easy, very yummy. And this is right up my husband's alley. He loves food like this. So he was very thrilled and it turned out so good. We are gonna be making dinner now. And this is a delicious garlic butter chicken pasta we're going to start with our frozen chicken garlic garlic salt garlic powder dill weed onion powder 
black pepper, salt, butter, and then I'm gonna use my gluten-free peanut pasta. Use whatever type of pasta you choose, and if you wanna go paleo, just add potatoes, super easy, and then use an earth balance butter for no dairy. I am gonna cook this on low for about eight hours. Then I'm gonna add my frozen chicken here, and I'm gonna do about a cup of frozen mixed vegetables. Three big scoops of butter. I use the Land O'Lakes butter, and again, use the vegan or earth balance if you wanna go dairy free. Then a heaping scoop of garlic, as well as some onion powder. I decided I wanted this to have a ranchy flavor without all of the creams, so I am just basically doing my homemade ranch dry seasoning, and those are all of the ingredients I told you, garlic powder, garlic salt, onion powder, as well as salt and pepper, dill weed. That is the star of the show, and it gives that ranch flavor. Add salt and pepper to taste. Then you're gonna use about a cup and a half to two cups of chicken stock, and you put that right on top. After about five to six hours, you're able to take the chicken out and shred it, and then you're gonna put it right back into the pot. I actually already cooked some noodles. I don't like to cook my noodles in the crock pot. I feel like they get too soft. So those have already cooked, and I'm gonna add that to the mixture as well. Next, I'm gonna add some grated Parmesan cheese. This gives the best flavor, and again, if you're gonna go paleo or dairy-free, you would want to omit this step. This pasta came out so good and it was even better the next day. I was actually so surprised how flavorful it was and I topped it off with some more grated Parmesan cheese. So this is a winner and I'll be making this probably again next week. For dessert, we are gonna be making a double chocolate Nutella brownie. Oh yes, so delicious. And now that I've cooked brownies in the crock pot, I don't think I'll ever go back. They were so ooey, gooey, and delicious. So I have a box brownie mix. Use whatever kind you choose and just follow the directions. So combine all of the ingredients. A little hidden flavor you can add is coconut oil and replace uh, vegetable oil. It is so good. Then you're gonna line your crock pot with parchment paper. You've got to do this so it does not stick. And honestly, I was so surprised how well this worked out because it saved on the cleanup big time. So I am gonna put all of the brownie batter into the bottom of the crock pot on top of this parchment paper. I'm gonna take two heaping spoonfuls of the Nutella, and I'm gonna nuke that for about 15 seconds until I see it starting to get really liquidy and soft. Be careful not to burn it. This is the perfect consistency, and you can pour it right on top of your batter. Just to be a little extra, I tried to give it the marble look because, hey, why not? I cooked that for about two hours on high, and by doing it the two hours, you can see right here, it is definitely pulling from the sides, but the inside is still very gooey. It's firm, but very gooey, as you see. You can do it for about another 30 minutes to an hour if you want it thicker than that. I like the gooey texture with a little bit of ice cream. You can't forget the whipped cream, and this was like a delicious molten lava cake you guys so good it's an understatement it's already gone i was blown away i hope you guys enjoyed all of these meals this is comfort food perfect for the winter season and honestly just perfect anytime everything was so simple cleanup is easy as you see here and i really think that if you guys will try these recipes this season you are going to be in love if you do try them make sure to tag me on instagram because i would love to see and don't forget to check out my sweet friend kelly i absolutely adore her we have similar content on our channel so you're not going to want to miss her and she's about to welcome a brand new baby so 
go over, say hello, show her some love, and you're going to be so motivated by her. Thank you all so much for sticking around and watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.